All right, it is that time of year uh, to target sheep's head. It's winter time and the sheep's heads are fired up. So we're out here looking for bait, looking for mangrove tree crabs. Already got a few in the bucket. Pretty good sized mangrove tree crabs right there. We're gonna spend about 15 to 20 minutes collecting mangrove tree crabs. Hopefully we get a dozen or two and then we'll take them to the first spot. Hopefully the sheep's heads are biting this morning. They should be, but you just never know. Uh, we're also gonna target trout too. Trout bite has been on fire, so looking forward to it. Let's get more crabs and we'll get fishing. Here, right here. There is one. It's a decent one there. Good sized tree crab. There's another one. Oh, there's a couple right here. Oh, yes, two. Double kill. Two in the bucket. Heck yeah, this might be quick. Two. Two mango crab, the biggest one. This is what I got. That's the biggest one right there. Dang, look at the size of these mango crab, man. That's insane. We got a dozen uh, mangrove crabs. We should be good. We're gonna um, take them to the first spot and then we'll get, uh, we'll get fishing. Just pulled up to the spot. We're gonna start fishing right here. Water's going out. Ideally, we'd wanna be on the other side if the water's going out, but we'll see. Trout. Wow, yes, sir. Nice. Target species. We just want ones uh, a little bit bigger than this guy here. This guy is... Uh, a little small. Look at him shaking like crazy, dude. Little guy, see ya. I mean, it's super, super windy. It's coming out of the north. The spot I originally wanted to fish for for giant sheep's head, it's unfishable because the wind would be in front of my face if I were to fish that spot. So, not ideal. Um, this is perfect right here. I didn't see any sheep's head yet, but doesn't mean they're not here. Netrim, right? Yeah, yeah. Throw the net shrimp. Oh, that was a good thump, man. They're like right here, Bush. They're not even far out at all. No, this is the perfect, perfect spot right here. I like it. Yeah, we're tucked away from the wind. It's nice, right? Yeah. So me and Tani changed like what, three spots? Yeah, we've, we've been driving everywhere uh, this morning, trying to find a spot to fish. I mean, I was fishing the bridge earlier, trying to sight fish for a sheep's head, but man, those, those sheep's head, they were just finicky. I don't know. All right, guys, we just pulled up to um, a new spot, literally in the heart of downtown Tampa. Uh, just pitching the seawall right now using soft plastics, throwing the shrimp. We're hoping to catch um, whatever bites. We've been Snook are here, been struggling. are here, trout should be here, and we've been struggling in this cold, windy day. But yeah, we'll see. no kidding. I mean, it was sunny this morning, and then all of a sudden, within like a couple of hours, clouds started coming out of nowhere, and now it's like super chilly, but yeah, we're gonna try to see, try to try and see if we can get on some uh, some fish over here. My first time fishing over here. Bush has fished here quite a bit, right? Yeah, it's a pretty good area, you know. All right, we'll see. Big one. That's a big one. I'm bringing it over here. Yeah, baby. That's a respectable sheep right there. Keeper if I wanted to keep him, but urban fishing for sheep's head. Let's go. Yeah. Look at that, man. Got the city right in the background. Gotta love it. First uh, sheep here at this spot. Good deal. Let's put him back in the water. See you, guy. Hopefully I didn't spook the other uh, sheeps. They're still there? <laughs> Bush is getting bites too, huh? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna send another crab down here. Yeah, they're still there. Here we go. Smaller crab. There's a few of them out there. I mean, they're not big, but there's a few uh, about the same size. Mixing it with needlefish too. 
Yeah, just straight out in front of us. They're all over. Yep. So hard to see. Oh. So hard to hook them. Huh? Yeah. Oh, there you go, Bush. Good one. That's a big one. Urban fishing, baby. Let's go. Okay. Dude, that's a tank. <laughs> Look at that. Bring him over here, Bush. There we go. Yeah, yeah, right there. You can probably land him right here, huh? You can flip him? All right, go ahead. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Look at that. Yeah, buddy. You think he's like 17? Yeah. For sure, 17 inches. Uh, I didn't bring a measurement. That's all right. He's pretty, pretty big. Hold him up. That's a pretty good one too. Oh yeah. Right on the corner, huh? Look at that guy. Nice. Good stuff. You got a split shot on there too, and they're yeah. still chewing it. Hey, cool. I take it, man. We're struggling for a bite. Yeah, we, we've been struggling, struggling all morning, man. I mean, we caught the trout pretty small this yeah. morning, but I'm glad we made the move to, to come out here. It's a great spot, you know, when this spot is easy. I think I think I think they're schooled up out there, Bush. I mean we don't we don't even need to see them. They're out there. I mean they're they're schooling up. Just because you don't see them doesn't mean that they're they're not there, they're right? not there exactly. There you go. Okay, this guy release. Where should I release him? Go. Nice. Good job, Bush. He took it. He freaking took it, man. He couldn't resist the mangrove crab. There's no way he can resist the mangrove crab. Keeper. Oh yeah, baby. Look at that. Yes, sir. I mean, all these fish are pretty solid. Solid, solid fish out here. Barely hooked. Look at that. Another good sheep right there. Keeper. But we're not keeping any fish today. We're going to put this guy back in the water. See ya. All right, so we stopped by this spot because, I mean, it calmed down a lot. This morning out here, it was incoming tide. We had like probably a couple footers. I mean, there was just white caps everywhere. It was unfishable. That's why we went to the other spots. This is the spot where we we're going to stop first in the morning, but uh, it was way too rough. But we're back out here. Hopefully the fish are here. We're gonna start off throwing this um, artificial shrimp, salty net shrimp around. See if we can get some uh, decent trout. I love targeting trout this time of year. Um, any time of year, really. They're just so easy to fool. You can catch them with just about anything, really. As long as you can reach them. As long as you can reach the school, you can toss the, I don't know, a piece of Twizzler on a hook. They'll probably eat it. But all I'm saying is they're pretty easy to catch. And it's a lot of fun, especially when they get up to like, you know, your 20 inch range. Found the trout. Is that a trout? Oh yeah, it is a trout. A little smaller one. It's gotta be some bigger ones today, man. Little guy. He is cold. <laughs> Put back. See ya. See if we can whack a bigger one. So I was getting them right there. They might be schooled up all along here, but we'll we'll keep working this lure for uh, for a little while, and then we'll switch to to the crab. I mean, I got my other rod with me here already, hook already tied on, ready to go. Just got to put a crab on, send it out there. But here we go. There's a trout. Uh, a little small. You know, it's nice to see these little smaller trout around because this guy here is going to grow up to be a stud one day. So, not bad. What is that? Oh my god, big trout. Oh my gosh. Big trout, guys. Yes, baby. 
That's a big trout. We're gonna land him right here. Bring him over here. Look at that trout. That is a solid trout right there, man. And he smoked that salty net shrimp. That right there is a trout and a half. Yes. Look at that, guys. Pretty cool little trout. It's probably 18 inches right there, for sure. It's nice to, uh, nice to see these, you know, 18, 19 inch trout. I haven't caught one in a very long time, but pretty cool. Let's get him unhooked and back in the water. Let's put this guy back in the water. So cool, man. Good, good trout. He thumped it. Freaking thumped it. All right. Just gonna put him back like right here. See ya, guy. Good deal. Let's try to get on more. I know they're still out there. They gotta be schooled up. Hopefully we can catch another one that size. I mean, I wouldn't mind catching ones that size, like back to back. Pfft. A lot of fun, man. A lot of fun. That guy hit it on the drop. I didn't even have to twitch the, uh, the rod tip or anything. With these trout, man, if you cast to the right spot, and they're around that area, they'll smoke it. Don't even gotta work that jig. There's a trout. Oh yeah. Switch back to the artificial shrimp and some, he smoked it. It's a good trout right there. Oh yeah, baby. We got soft mouths. Um, Sometimes, oh, he's hooked pretty good. He, he ain't going nowhere. Nice little guy. Small though. Let's put him back. Yeah, there are the trout are freaking stacked. I think they're all trout. I thought some of them were uh, sheep's head, but nope. They're all trout right there, stacked up. Wow, big sheep right here in front of me. I don't know what it is, but the sheep's head are not chewing at this spot. It's so weird because I was catching them over in the last spot, but it's been tough. There it is. Oh yeah, good trout, baby. Uh, he's all right. Probably 15 inches. He feel like he's so big, man, but he's not even that big at all. Tiny. Hold on, guy. I'll let you go. Calm down, calm down, calm down. He's hooked pretty good. Little juvenile. See ya. He wanted to go. Got to cast far for these guys, man. It actually turned out to be a really nice day. I mean, like I said earlier this morning, it was so rough. It's like a couple footers out here. It was unfishable. I mean, I was getting ready to call it a day too. I was driving past by here, I was like, wow, look at that. It's like glass out here. So here we are, whacking a few. No, uh, no giants though, but still a lot of fun. And that's, that's what it's all about sometimes, you know, it's not all about catching the biggest fish of the day. I mean, that's the goal, but as long as you're catching, in my, in my opinion, still a good time. Dang, that was a good hit, man. I wonder if they're sitting like off the edge of the, the rocks out there. There's another one. Is it another decent one or no? Oh my God, another decent one right there. Look at him. That's sick. That's another 17. Uh, a little bit smaller than the, the last one, but still pretty cool. Let's try to wet our hands. Oh, there he goes. Good one. Way out there. Another, another decent trout right there. Keeper. They gotta be uh, 16, I believe, 16 inches. Look at this guy, man. That's so cool. Just gotta find them. They're out here, though. Just gotta look for them. Keep casting. Just gonna flip this guy here.
Nice little trout there. Nice and cold. See it. One bait, fish after fish. Still going. It's kind of torn up a little bit, but it hasn't fallen apart yet. All right, guys. That is going to be a wrap. Bite's been super slow. I mean, I haven't caught fish in like 30 minutes. It's probably slack tide right now, so we're going to call it a day. Come back out here another day. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next week.